All right, guys, welcome to episode 90 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, got Jay over here. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We're back with another one. Like your blunt. Light your J, pack your bong, pack your bowl, get your dad rigs ready, because we're fucking chilling today, man. We chilling. We feeling good. We looking good. Looking marvelous. You know what I'm saying? Feeling marvelous. Yeah. It's beautiful outside. Birds is chirping. Ooh. Hey, chirp, man. Chirp. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Birds are fucking chirping. Holy shit. Yeah, man. It's fucking like Narnia out there. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Episode 90. Holy shit. <laughs> Episode 90, Epi- guys. Episode 90. Hey, disclaimer. Jay's Disclaimer, yeah, Jay's back, hey, man. Jay's back with another one. You already know how the fuck we do. What's the disclaimer? The disclaimer is that we're high as fuck, guys. Oh. So don't oh. fucking worry about. Look at this. We had some people ask. They were like, "Yo, man, where's Jay at, man? Where, where the what the fuck happened to yeah, Jay?" Yeah, we had a few people like, "Hey, what happened? What happened?" It's like, "Hey, guys, look, man, life happens sometimes." Life happens. Jay, you know, unfortunately, he had a death in the family, and uh, yeah, man. Yeah. It happens, it happens. So he's back now, you know what I'm saying? Better spirits, looking marvelous. Thank you, thank like you. Like always. And uh Enjoying yeah, man. Life. We're glad Let's you're back. It. We're glad you're back, man. Thank you, yeah. boys. Glad you're fucking back, bro. I'm but, sorry that I'm cursing, but hey. You know what? You know it. what uh what people are glad is back right now. Some people are glad it's back. Is that uh the the seventies open relationships. You know what I mean? That seventies was Ooh. it was a it's a wild time. And it was uh a wild time. They brought back the fucking open relationships from back then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, I don't know, bro. I don't know. How do y'all boys feel about being in an open relationship nowadays, 2021? Well, like that Kylie Jenner and, and Travis Scott thing, how they got yeah, back together yeah. and shit. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, it's cool. It's cool, man. I just feel like when money's involved, like they less people just, they just don't really give a fuck. When you have more money and you both have money and you guys are just young really young because they're pretty young guys you know what i mean they probably just want to explore and figure out what they want to do they probably don't even love each other think about it but guess what so you're chilling at your house your girl gets dropped off <laughs> you hit the car door shut she gets inside and makeup's all fucked up her hair looks like it's been pulled and she might have been slapped one time a couple a couple times probably choked and she smells <laughs> like versace men's cologne and cigarettes and then comes and tries to cuddle on you and says hey hey babe I just got piped down by Jerry. You know, how would you feel? Honestly, I would really be upset. You're like, what kind of cologne is that? that he yeah, wears? facts. <laughs> yeah, like if <laughs> you'd be upset. It's just when there's a kid involved, it makes things complicated and more feelings. Get what are you attached. teaching your daughter? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, bro. I personally, I personally wouldn't be in an open relationship. I feel like. If you're going to be in an open relationship, just fucking stay single and fuck you, still fuck each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, hey, man, to yeah. each their kid. own, I guess it, it takes a certain type of person to do that, yeah. a certain type of understanding. He I don't, don't understand have one, that. but he'll be involved in one. Oh, no, that's a fucking fact. Like, hey, Travis, Travis hit, hit me up. up. I put, hey, yeah. look, I'll be I'll be entangled. Yeah. I'll be entangled. I, you know ooh, what I'm saying? I like that. I like yeah, that. bro. Hey, hey, yeah. Kylie. Yeah. You already know. He's hit a participator. I'm a participant. Hey, that's I'm a it. team player. He's a team player. I'm a team player. But I think it's... You know what I'm saying? It. But when it comes to my team... Don't fucking touch it. Don't touch it. All I right? My team I, is mine. I think... <laughs> I think that, like, when it comes to open relationships, I really feel like they have feelings for the person, but they don't want to be with them. I think they just don't know what the fuck they want. Yeah. Like, they're confused. Right. They're confused. Like, they have some type of feeling for you, but not enough feeling to be with you. If that makes sense. Mm, that was that fucking, was fucking hey, philosophical. Look, that was genius. So yeah. what we're gonna do like, right quick because there's a certain level of feelings that mm, hey, this I like guy, you. Hey, ladies, if you need if you need advice, mm. <laughs> just hit my guy. Mm. Just hit my guy. If you, you know wisdom, because I've been there. And mm. Done that. And done I'm, that. done and all I, of it. And, I, and, right. I, and I'm still there. You oh. feel me? Oh. Oh. That was deep. Yeah, that, I'm still that there. That hit right here. I'm speaking off. I'm speaking off just personal opinion and personal experience. And I'm not like a guru in fucking relationships, but I'll tell you what, I've been around. Okay? <laughs> and I've been around yes. hey, hey. like Tupac, bro. I've been hey, around. my dog. You can take that either way. My dog been around the corner a couple times. Yeah, I'm back. I've been around the block. You know, I walked down the block. I fucking sold my ass for a living. Like, I'm scared. <laughs> nah, but hey, what if he did? Hey, what if he did? Nah, hey nah, look, we nah. don't judge, all right? We don't it's judge. hard times. It's hard times. Yeah, but there's, just, there's, there's, levels, the there's levels of feelings, bro. So like, yeah, I could like you, but like, I'm just not... Trying to be around you in public, if that wow. makes sense. Yeah, ah. I just don't. I don't know, bro. I, don't know I think works. these niggas are just like they're so rich they don't know what to do yeah. no more. Like, yeah. let's break up, but let's stay together at the same time, and I then let's fuck other people. 
No, because you start nah, yeah, thinking honestly, about the child. It comes down to that. Yeah. Like it, it comes down to. I feel like uh, uh, you were saying the younger, earlier. yeah, the younger generation. Like we just don't. We. We don't do well with commitment. We don't do as well with commitment. But can you? Look at how everything is. Yeah, it's is. hard, bro. It's no. <laughs> hard, bro. Like, it's hard to trust. Yeah. Like, women are trying to sleep with everybody. Men are trying to sleep with everybody. Swipe left generation, like, bro. It's like, quick. Yeah, oh, it's, it's hard up? to find good, good, a good person out there to really build with. A yes. person that has morals and, and principles and fucking yes. lives by them and respects them themselves and you. Because, like, we were That's talking about earlier, bro. Like, it's a give and take, bro. You, mm-hmm. It's a big commitment. You got to think about the Keys. other person. It's not about just your feelings and what you're going through in your day. Yep. It's Keys. two people. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Keys. It's two people. If so. you want to go buy fucking, like I want to go buy fucking the ones. I got some ones. I bought a jersey. I spent like two, $300. You know what I mean? On these fucking things. You were telling me, yo, bro, in a relationship, it's not even about that. You got to watch out for the budget, like Jay was saying as well. And number two, you got to buy another jersey for her because she want to match yeah, you. Yeah, it's two jerseys, two <laughs> pairs of sneakers, and God forbid there's a kid or two. Mm. Exactly. So it's not just mm. about you anymore, bro. So, And also when you're growing up, bro, like let's say that you didn't have a good parent or like you didn't have a father, you didn't have a mother or vice versa, whatever. Mm-hmm. You start thinking about, okay... I still want to be with the person and I still want to act like mommy and daddy because I want to be there for the little kid. You see what I'm saying? I want my kid to have a normal fucking father and mother figure. You see what I'm saying? Hey, man, listen, yeah. I always say the same shit. That's yeah. cool and all, but yeah. I'd rather have a kid grow up in two happy homes and one broken fucking miserable home. Yep. Facts. And that's, that's true. just a fact. You know what? That's Give true. yourself a fucking round hey, of applause. Right that's true. That's, that's true. true. You're only hurting the kid if you stay together. Yeah. If you're staying together and you guys don't want to be yeah. together, you guys got to let it known and be listen, like, man, yeah. Listen, man, if your true. kids if your kids going to sleep to y'all arguing in that's the real. other room, you think that when y'all get loud, that kid don't hear that shit? And it hurts because he loves bro. you both. Yeah, and then they start blaming themselves for shit that they had nothing to do with. And yeah. that's all they know. Like, it's, 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 it's toxic behavior. You see what I'm so saying? So they get yeah. into toxic relationships not really knowing it. And here we are, talking Facts. shit. Because that's what I was growing up on. Like, I was always seeing toxic shit thinking it was okay. That shit is not okay. You know what it's I mean? It's really not, bro. And it takes time to grow out of it, bro. Yeah. And there's different levels of toxic, man. There's toxic mm-hmm. with relationships. There's toxic with... Just different level, different things, but John's got experience with toxic, as we've discussed. Oh no, yeah. no, John yeah. loves yeah I'm, a little pack of toxic in his coffee. In the I'm morning. like, mm. I, I listen to Drake yeah. every morning. And, and <laughs> that I drink, says it all, yeah, ladies. That little, says it all. And I have a pack of toxic in my coffee every morning. Yeah, every morning, it's a wine by 10 a.m. Yeah. Listening to Drake, yeah. listening to Drake with some fucking grapes. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it gets pretty deep. Sometimes I cry. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes, sometimes he I, does. Yeah, sometimes okay. he don't. Yeah. Sometimes I get serious, you know, and I want to listen to some hype as Drake. But then there's some emotional days where I just, you know, I put the rainy sound Fuck in the background. I'm just saying you, you can, can do, do better. Hit you know? it, hit it. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Nah, not today, uh, man. No, uh, my dog was okay. feeling. He wasn't I, I, feeling it today, get, guys. Was, nah, nah, you know I might get emotional, and I'm, like, I'm not even. <laughs> he needs to get, to get bad, heartbroken. Bro. Yeah, bro, I gotta be heartbroken. Nah, he's bro. gonna remember that heartbreak. Yeah. Nah, I am, bro. <laughs> bro, like I've been out of the way for certain females, bro. I've done certain things, bro. So like you yeah, gotta watch facts. out. You gotta watch out hey, who you go. Hey, how you go out of the way. Like if you need to watch out who you go out of the way for. Guy talk, guy talk right awesome now. Guy shit. talk, guy talk. Awesome. Bring it in, bring nah, it in. Round of applause. Thank you, awesome. thank you. Awesome personal experience shit. You really do, and I learned a big lesson, man. Like, don't run a mile for somebody that won't even run a half mile for your ass. Hey, but oh my and, god, hey, and, and, that's, and that's and that's just some serious. In our shit. defense, in me and Jay's defense, we told this nigga. Yeah, like they told me plenty they times. Both, they both told me plenty that, times. Hey, you know, and then like my problem was letting people get into my ear that don't even know the person, like I do. Or don't have experience. Yeah. Like what you're talking about. Yeah, and they do have experience, but they just think it's okay. You wow. see what I'm saying? That was philosophical. Round of applause. Like, yeah. That was wild. That was wild. That, got, that was like the best comeback I ever fucking heard in my life. These past couple of days, I've been really thinking. I'm like, listen, I really got to get to the people. I got to start getting more deeper and find yeah, out who, who you guys. Oh, he wants like, to get deeper. Yeah, wow. I might get deeper <laughs> in, in different ways, baby. You know what I mean? If y'all want to come and get to know me, like, yo, man, I like this dope talk show, and I want to get dope with him. Well, that's fine. We we can do dope dope things. We can do dope things. Dope, hey, dope things that get dope things that get deeper. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, that's really (laughs) that hurt. I don't know, but yeah, man. Listen, man. I don't know. That's that's all I gotta say. 
That's my that was philosophical. That's all you got to say, Playboy. That's Johnny Boy That's all message, you got to yeah. say. Yeah. Johnny Blaze over there fucking giving knowledge. Yo, yeah. under, but, undercrown message for the kings out there. You feel me? Because I'm the undercrown. I'm still learning every day, baby. I'm trying to get there as well. So wow, I'm this guy. Where does this humbleness where? come from? Where does this humbleness come from? Usually he'll spit in your face and tell you you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You stupid peasant. But you know what? We got to change, bro. We got to change. Yeah, and we bro. Every day, hey, so. round of applause, so, yo, man. Yo. This fucking guy. I'm you know, proud of him. You know, his grown. beard grew two inches in the yeah, last I'm, three minutes. Hey, yo, hey, son, that was grew two <laughs> inches, too. I'll tell you what. Hey, yo, bro, I'm, <laughs> growing, I'm growing everywhere, baby. If you get what I'm saying. Hey, I'm listening. Uh, Every day I'm growing, baby. Uh, two inches of pain, he said. Ooh, listen, check me. Uh, but listen, guys. It's crazy how uh, I was talking to one of my boys, and he was telling me how, like, a lot of rappers end up pretty much predicting their own death, bro. And it's true. Like, rap is the only music in the whole industry that promotes death the way it does, and then they predict their own death the way they do. Like, it's weird. Like, Tupac talked a lot about death before he died. He did. And how he's gonna die. Biggie, ready to die. Yeah. Like, he knew he was gonna die. And then the album after that, Life After Death. Mm -mm. Like, what? (laughs) Like it's uh, crazy. Uh, like, I feel like yeah. what you speak into it, like speak, That's what it, is. it goes into existence, what and is. what you what you talk about, what you put out there, comes back to you. you. Manifest it. Yeah, bro. Dude, That's, that's a why fact. They talk about that shit, and they have books written about manifestation and our affirmations. So when you say, "I'm gonna die by 26." <laughs> I ain't gonna see 36. Well, it's yeah. not It's not even that. It's like, okay, wow. They, am, people hear that. People <laughs> hear that and they're like, okay, bet. You know, like they, they kind of initiate it, if, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like they initiate it. Like when you say shit like that, it's like when you start rap songs, it's like, ah, you can't touch me, ah, this and that. Oh, okay, well, bet. <laughs> 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 it's not stuff. like that you know what i mean but oh. you can't touch me like oh. and then you're initiating people to to have that to send that violence and energy back towards you and be like you know what bet Vi- i can get you it yeah, like bro. you see what i'm saying like it's not even about like uh, on that spiritual shit you're just really trying people that are really about that life and they're gonna come and get you but that voodoo shit they'll be real yeah nah. that's crazy right <laughs> look at little reese Thanks. yeah that voodoo yeah, shit man. that is Lil crazy reese. It's crazy, bro. People get shot in their fucking butt cheek and they mm-hmm. die. But this guy has gotten shot in the neck with an AK-47 and just got grazed in the eye. And he's not blind and not dead. He got shot in the throat, too, like a year ago or two. That's what I just said, bro. He got shot in Where the neck you? with an AK-47. The- oh, it was an AK-47? I didn't even know yeah, that. I thought it was just a regular shot. fucking no, pistol. No, he got shot with some big shit. Yeah. And it was like right there. Like they ran up on his whip. Like, he got oh. shot with some big shit. So it's like, bro, what? Number one, bro, as a grown man, at what point do you stop playing in the streets? That's number one. That's true, though. That's like, number man. one. Yeah. You're a grown man, bro. I get it. When Chief Keith and them, when they all first came out, nigga, there was kids, kids. There was 16, yeah, 16. 15, mm-hmm. 17. You're a kid. Mm-hmm. Nigga, it's been tw- 10 years from then. And he's 12 like- years from then. Doesn't he have like a career? Like what he was stealing a vehicle, wasn't it? Some shit. He stole the wrong person's whip, a charger or some shit. Listen, bro, he was, probably yeah. don't need to be doing that. And yeah. that's what I mean. He's probably doing that on some gang gang shit or on some street shit, whatever the fuck it is. It's like, bro, like at a certain point as a grown man, you gotta leave that shit alone. Yeah. Especially if you have kids. You it's know what I'm saying? True. Or if you just want better for yourself. If you wanna like it, hey guys, listen. It's cool to grow up and get old. It's cool yeah. to be the nigga in your 50s, 60s, and 70s looking at your grandkids come up now. Yeah. Like, that's cool. That's a cool thing. Like, everybody, I don't know what it is. Like, most niggas that are younger, like, we just have a death wish or something, bro. Like, Yo, for real, it's don't weird. Change. Like It's crazy how so you can see somebody for, like, let me say this. If I knew you when I was 18 and I talked to you now... And you're still the same exact person you were when I knew you when I was 18. Who yeah, the, we, what are you doing? We can't be friends, bro. Like, what the fuck are you doing? And there's a lot of people that I know you're watching this and you're where I'm from, you know, up there in New York. And I talk to you people and y'all still the same motherfucking people, you know, deadbeat, dumbass people. You know, people got to grow and change, right? That's a fact. And staying in the streets, a lot of these rappers, they do all this. They rap that life. Like Jay-Z ain't in the streets. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's Fast. investing in businesses and whatever it might be. Nah, yeah. You got to you gotta grow out of that. And that should be the yeah. goal. 
It's to grow out of it. Yes, bro. Unfortunately, a lot of us were born in the situations we had no control over. Mm -hmm. A lot of us were born in a impoverished situations, single parent homes where our parents were struggling and shit. We didn't have much except that what we had, you know, what we needed, like, which yeah. is all you need, by the way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't see that when you're younger, but you got a place to go home, lay your head, eat and yeah. relax. You got AC on, you got some TV on, bro, relax. You're yeah. all right. You're okay. Yeah, you don't have the Jordans. Yeah, you don't have the fucking mm -hmm. whatever the fuck, the hats and this and that. None of that shit's going to matter in fucking 10 years. Everything changes. Because guess right? what? That that outfit, you could get your flyest outfit on right now. You get locked up and get released in 10 years, and then you, you're going to look like a fucking dweeb. <laughs> nah, for real. You're going to look like a fucking dweeb. Because <laughs> yeah. no, shit true. changes. It changes, bro. Look at those people that yeah. went in before smartphones. If I was going to go yeah, to jail. I feel bad out. for them, bro. If I ever went to jail, knock on wood, you feel me? I would actually invest in stocks and pride my money in stocks instead of investing it in clothing. Because when I come out, guess what? Them stocks are going to double up. That's growing for me when I'm not even there. So when Facts, I come out, bro. that's the way I look at it. That's what I would do. Yeah. 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 There's the, ultimately, bro, the, the goal is, though, is to not go to fucking prison or jail. Exactly. It's to, to grow, change, Grow, evolve. change, humble yourself exactly. and become a man, bro. Yeah. Just be a, be a grown man and you handle your business. You see these old dudes that are like 70 years old and they got some bread and they're with like a 22-year-old chick and it's just like, what do you and that girl got in common, my man? There's, there are possibly... Bro, there's You're absolutely old enough to be nothing. a grandfather. Yeah, <laughs> I don't understand that. Yeah, I'm I don't understand that. As a man that's, I'm about to be 27 in the next couple months, bro. Like, I don't want to hang out with an 18 year old. Yeah, I just exactly. don't. Yeah, I don't want to be. We're seen not on yet. the same wavelength. Yeah, that's bro. it. You're still trying to turn up and figure uh, yourself yeah. out and this and that and go through your first heartbreak, bitch. I ain't trying to do. Like, yeah. I got been through all. Yeah, I got my heart broken I got, I got, many a times. couple got, times, mm. bitch. I don't need it broken again. Fuck like, you. Yeah, I Fuck got all of you. I got a little brother that's 18, so I try to explain to him like hey man you know it's cool to hang out with you once in a while with your crew and i know your crew likes me a lot and i respect your crew Everybody and all that John, yeah no nah, shout know? out to y'all man you know, and, and, I, and i respect you guys for even sharing my shit leaving comments so Round of you applause. guys yeah yeah that's big to me Whoa. Man, uh, uh. my dog tried me <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's a big that's a big deal man that's a it big is, deal for though. me you guys have a good head on your shoulders and you guys are smart just keep on going and grinding nah, fact. and uh stay away from the bullshit man yeah why don't you give me compliments like that nah, I, mean, I don't know you're just a piece of shit sometimes and i fucking no, you I'm know i appreciate your honesty though. at least he's honest and that's why i hang around with this guy yeah it's just most people are fake pieces it, of shit and I'm not, you know who i'm talking to I'm, I'm a piece of shit sometimes too yeah i'm a piece of shit sometimes too so you guys handle my bullshit you guys manage it sometimes you know we share a bed yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey. hey man fuck it right pause pause, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pause. Uh, but uh, listen man yeah. you know what needs to be paused is this motherfucking army commercial all right oh. this fuck, i saw this fucking army commercial compared to this russia army commercial bro dude we gotta get this i damn wow. near want to go and list for russia i'm telling nah, you bro. that shit was Just crazy off of that commercial, i was like nah but for all like Hey guys, we need to step it up with yeah. this like whole like you know. We're oh, weak. I grew up with two moms and shit. That could be cool yeah. and it could be true. But it what doesn't the make you fuck look does fucking... it matter when it comes yeah. to going to war, and bro? And killing yeah. people and fighting for your country. Like ultimately, bro, yeah. you're going oh. to war. Why do I care about what the fuck? Does else? that matter about your mommies or your daddy? I'd rather have you come from a fucked up, broken home because I know you're built different. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for hey, y'all, listen, right? nah, for if you was twelve years old, you're scarred already. If you was twelve years old, dodging fucking airstrikes, yes. carrying a fucking AK, yes, you got an advantage. Come work for me. You got an advantage on somebody that joined the army at eighteen and got two mommies. Exactly. You know what I'm, saying? <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you that. It's facts. I it's want fucking facts. Killers. Hey, and no offense to people that do have two moms yeah, and two dads. That's not that's, what that's not our point. Our point is like this what is war. does it matter? When that it doesn't matter. It's like saying, Oh, my parent is disabled. It's like that, yeah, bro. Sorry, I I, I understand that, but it's like what does it matter? What the fuck war? does it matter? You're going to war. You're yeah. joining the army. Like your family back home right now at this point in time, that should be kind of in the back of your mind because we you're you got to make it back to them, but yeah. you got to be focused to do it. You got yeah. you're here, nigga. So it's like I don't know, bro. I'd rather have you come from the trenches to put you in the trenches 
Because I know you can survive in the trenches. Mm, round of applause. Oof. That was crazy. Oof. That was amazing. You know what I'm talking about? That was saying? amazing. So, yeah. I don't so, even Russia's know what to got say us. No more. Russia's got us as far as that commercial. Yeah, goes. yeah, no. Nah, that commercial was crazy. I was like, wow, this is making us look pretty so hand, hand to hand combat, I think we would lose. Like, 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 if our weapons were down, I think we have the most shit. obesity of any other place in the world. Yeah, Don't but we? the army really, like, look, look who we're hiring. We have a lot of bran- <laughs> we have a lot of bran- <laughs> scouting, <laughs> but we have a lot of branches there. We have a lot of yeah, branches. Sure. That was yeah. the army or some shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, go talk- the army. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, yeah, Marines, you, Marines, Marines. Shout out to you. The go Marines. talk to Special the Marines, or you go talk to Green Berets, or like. Yeah, it's different. That's different. It's different. Navy SEALs. There's levels to this shit. There's levels to that shit, of course, but. Ultimately, man, it's it's, it's ultimately crazy, we're man. not looking tough right now. Yeah, yeah, army, army, y'all, Come y'all got to tighten up with that commercial. I don't know what that was. Yeah, yeah, guys, if you haven't seen that, that commercial, was. we're gonna see what we can yeah, do about that. Facts, facts. No, that's listen, crazy. Man, that's wild. Not, somebody that I wanted else. to shout out. Somebody that's an alpha, and somebody that's somebody that you can look up to. Get you hard. Know what I'm saying? You got to get hard and stay hard. Shout out to David Goggins. Woo! Round of applause to you, bro. David Goggins, stay I hard. I read his book. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's a crazy story that he has, man. It's it's a story that lets you know a lot about how, wh- like, why he is how he is. <laughs> but just the motivation that that motherfucker gives out, bro. Like, he I comes from upstate it. New York, too, from around the same area where I used to be from. So shout mm. out to that. Shout out to that, man. <laughs> shout out to upstate. Shout out to upstate yeah. New York. No, no, shout out to upstate. Fuck all of you. <laughs> yeah. Except for the cool ones that hit me up and I talk to. Everybody else. Oh, yeah, he's from New York. Yeah. Everybody yeah, no, else, thanks. fuck you. If you don't text me and I don't text you and you only hit me up on social media, <laughs> You don't know me. You don't know me. Don't, yeah, don't, you, don't hit my yeah. dog up. No, no, no. I actually, I, I, I recently fucking got rid of uh, Facebook. By the way, I, oh, I took it down. I Round took of it applause, down. bro. Yeah. Round of applause. You I've been telling it. this guy. Listen, yeah. not everything is good for your mental. You know, you know. What At I, the yeah. end of the day, bro, yeah. I feel like yeah, you like yeah, guys. We have this podcast. We're on Instagram. We're on certain things, but I feel like you don't need to be on everything personally. Like, my Instagram's dead. I know you, know you guys go there. I don't ever post anything because I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> I just feel like Instagram. Yeah, I don't a little ever bit post better. pictures yeah. like that. I'm just yeah. we're guys, man. Yeah. We're guys. Like there's not much of me you can see. Out, I barely yeah. post my my fucking face on my storyline. Yeah. I'm usually just posting something motivational or something I find funny or something. Who wants else? to like, see this face? Apparently, some people like my ex. Right? <laughs> she wrote me the other day and she tried to tell me. She's like, "Have you seen yourself lately?" And I was like, "Does this bitch not own a mirror in her fucking house?" She like, said that to you? Yeah, and I was like, yeah, have you not seen, have you seen my wife? Mm. Oh, damn. Hey, I know, thank you. That was a flex. That was a big flex. Yeah, thank you. That was a flex. He's like, fuck you. Fuck Facts. my looks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, seriously, seriously. That's, nah, that's what's up, bro. That's a flex, and that's all you had to say, and you did it respectfully. <laughs> respectfully. Uh, yeah. Unlike these fucking homeless people that got fucking homes. And no, I'll tell you man. what. I ran into this one fucking bitch, and usually, ladies, I don't call you guys bitches, but this bitch she is a was. bitch. She was. She is acting homeless, man. Acting homeless. Mm-hmm. And I seen her over here at the dollar store spending the motherfucking money that she gets from fucking you guys what? on the corner. Mm-mm. And she has a license and all that. She was buying blunts and shit. That's why I knew she had a she fucking ID. Because they were like, oh, we need your ID for the blunts. And she's like, I was like, I was this like, bitch. Me. I was like, hey, you know, they raised, they raised it. They, ra- they raised it to 21. What? The tobacco. Can you believe that? Hey, that's oh, awesome. Yeah. We Round talked of about applause. when they first did it. Round remember? of applause to you guys for Back doing when we that. We used to shoot at my place. Fuck these Damn. kids. <laughs> no, but that's wild. Yeah, no, nah, but listen. Bro, you can go to war. The point can. is, it's like, look, bro. Like, you're not disabled. <laughs> nah. That shit pissed me off. You're and not you disabled. you for eight hours a day in the Florida sun. Bro, Fast. go to Burger King. They got AC. So, bro, you're not disabled. Sure. You have a license. Yeah. Nigga, you can literally apply here. <laughs> yeah. like, you, uh, you don't, don't have, have to go stand. Too. Yeah, like you're not you're not old, you're not disabled, you're not yeah. fucking bro. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. Like if you're one of those type of people, fuck you. Fuck you. I, I, I don't I like agree. that shit. No, and then they get there's mad. people out there that are really homeless. <laughs> yeah, when you and then, them. And then those guys get ignored because yeah. of people like you. Because now I don't trust none. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust it. none of y'all. Nope. I've no. seen that shit one too many times, mm-hmm. bro. Yeah, it's nah. Florida. No, nah, no, nah, I can't let that. I should have went outside and seen what there was one you was time. Driving. There was hey. one time. I don't know if I said this story already, but I think I did a while back. But it was about homeless people. When I worked downtown, like I, I knew all the homeless people by name, like Nelson and all these people, and they're still down there. 
Like I still come down there yo, to this day seven years later. Like yo, Nelson, Man, so, Nelson, you still down here, motherfucker. Yeah, right He's now. Like, yeah. Round of applause to you, Nelson. Yo, Bobby, you know what I mean? Like that's what you be. Like, yo, yo, bro, I'm still down here and shit. Yeah, right on his phone or some shit. You got hit. <laughs> <laughs> You're homeless, but you got an iPhone. They got Facebooks yeah. and shit. Like, right. just posted two minutes ago. Nah, man. Hustling hard. He's making buku bread, bro. He's out there hustling, mm-hmm. bitch. Nah, and I Go know, home with more money than you. Mm-hmm. I know this I know this guy by name, but anyways, this is other guy I don't know by, by his name, right? <laughs> I helped this guy out. I helped, <laughs> I helped this guy out. He was a newer guy. He was a newer guy, so this I helped him out. Important. He's like, yo, man, can I get some money? Because he was begging. I was working at the scar bar by, uh, at Corona. You know what I mean? And uh, I was just chilling outside. My job before security was kicking these guys out. <laughs> like, seriously, that was my job. There was no security there before? They didn't have security Damn, there. my dog yeah. was going to get beat up. Yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> he had no muscle back then. No, no, I was like a scrawny. I don't know. Of all the people they told me, I was the, the youngin', I guess. And they just said, fuck it. He'll do it. Yeah, well, yeah, if, he gets, if he gets muscle. beat up, he'll quit. Yeah, yeah facts. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bro. So, anyways, I kicked him out. Well, I used to. I used to be like really, really like mean about it, and then like I got really nice because like, you start to grow on them, bro. You really do. They kind of to grow on you. Yeah, he used to be like, yeah, you fucking bum, get the get fuck the out, out of here, get a job. And then, but I you told, want a quarter? He out throw yeah, across the street. Go chase him. Nah, there was one time I made him dance. I made uh, him dance. Yeah, no, but he, no, 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 no. But he's a dancer. This is not a humanitarian. No, 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 but he's a dancer, though. He's a break dancer. He's a dancer. He Bro, really he's is. He's on crack. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> he's leaning. No. My dog's on coke. No, he was a legit dancer. I'm not even. Oh, for real, he was break dancing. Show me how he was dancing. Show me. Like he was spinning on his head and fucking. Oh yeah. damn! Oh oh oh! oh mm. Shit! Mm. Hey. Mm. Mm. Yeah, all right. So yeah. hey, listen, listen. Bro, I thought it was popping no, 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 Fuck you. Listen, his neck would move like a fucking anyways, cobra out of a job. Anyways, let me tell y'all, bro. <laughs> God damn, let me fucking tell it. Let me say the fucking story. This guy don't want to talk. Hurry bro, the fuck up right, so y'all making me laugh. All right, so I offered this guy fucking food. To go buy a fucking 7 Eleven. I was like, I'm not going to give you mo- no money, but gonna, if you hungry, Did he dog. Just say I offered him food to go buy at the 7 Eleven. Right next door. <laughs> offered him food. I was going to go buy it for him. Yeah. Go with him. It was he walking said, distance. You. you know the 7 Eleven right next door? That one. Yeah, next yeah. to Corona. Yeah. And he's like, ah, nah, nah, you know. Nah, man, I'm not. Well, I, then I can't help you. You're not hungry then. What do you use, use the fucking yeah, money nah, for? Fuck, like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> like, if you. Like, listen, bro, a true homeless person will accept. Anything. anything. There was another Bottle time I gave him a slice of fucking anything. Like I gave him a slice of pizza and he threw it on the floor. Listen, man, y'all, y'all homeless people with homes, you're fucking it up for everybody else. Yeah, we don't like you. Yeah, so yeah. get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. I know if you're watching this, you shouldn't even be fucking asking for money. That's a fact. Mm. That's a motherfucking mm. fact. But anyway, they pay enough. They get enough for their phone bill. That's yeah. <laughs> Hey, These people you. really do make money, though. It's crazy. Yeah, they, do. But. they do. They do. But I'll yeah. tell you what, guys. Hey, it's been hey, yours truly low hey. key. We've been back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description. Get yourself some merch. You know what I'm saying? Talk shit in the description. Yeah, tell talk me what shit. you think of me. Talk okay. shit. Hey, we don't give a fuck. We talk shit back. So hop on there. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you like us. If you don't, yeah. we don't give a fuck. We'll let you know if we like you or you. we don't. Oh, yeah, if we don't Ooh. like you. I don't Ooh, really give a that? fuck if huh. we really like you or not. I just want to fuck your gut. I just want to sit you hey. in a body and just pull a nut. Oh. I just want to move it out the country and go sip on nut. Oh, oh, okay. oh whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. I'm telling you, bro. Again. What? I said uh, nuts, like fucking nuts, man. He said, sip "Oh, we heard on what nut. you said." He yeah. said, "Sip on nut." There was no strong S. It was nut. It was straight nut. Look up the definition. Hey, of nuts. you look up the definition of nut. Yeah, and you tell us what streets. the fuck you come up with. Hey, bro, we'll catch you on the next. We'll show. catch y'all later, Peace. man. So you gonna sip some nuts? <laughs> All right, guys, cut this shit out. I'm like-